Hi everyone, it's Noel Christopher, Senior Vice President of Corporate Development with Ritter's Warehouse. Coming to you from Colorado, I'm back in town, uh, spending some time with my family, which is awesome, and also uh, thinking about everything that we're trying to do with Ritter's Warehouse and building out our, uh, national, property our national property management and brokerage uh, company. And so I do these uh, radio interviews on Think Realty Radio <clears throat> usually twice a month. And they're an hour-long show, and we talk about all kinds of different <clears throat> subjects in real estate. And one of the things that came to today was talking about real estate agents and how they're dealing with the, all the disruption in the industry that's happening right now. And part of that is, you know, for example, our company really started to focus on investment real estate and building out a national brokerage that can be there to serve investors. And then the other subject that came up was iBuyer programs. And should real estate agents uh, embrace those or try to avoid them as much as possible? Uh, you know, my opinion is that you should embrace them. Uh, that should be something that's in your arsenal, an arrow in your quiver that you use when you have a seller or an owner that comes to you and says, I want to sell my property and they have a certain situation that it might be advantageous for them to immediately sell that property rather than marketing it, getting it ready for, uh, <clears throat> for a homeowner to buy, um, staging the property, spending the time on market and doing all of, those, all of those things where you as an agent might make less money, but you might serve your client much better by doing the right thing for them. And uh, I truly know from experience, from my own personal experience, that if you can say no sometimes or you can point the, your customers in the right direction rather than just trying to make the commission, that you're going, to, you're going to gain an advocate for life and they're going to go out and advocate for you and you're going to pick up so much more business from doing the right thing and earning a little bit less in the short term than trying to earn as much as you can in each transaction. And so this also comes back around uh, when we work with uh, outside agents who aren't part of Renters Warehouse, we have a great referral program. We refer, uh, pro pro our agents refer for property management to us and typically when they turn around to want to sell a property, uh, we'll refer that back to the agent. Well, we've kind of turned that upside down a little bit because now we also represent buyers and sellers of real estate. And in any situation, regardless, we're always going to refer uh, the owner back to the agent, but then there's going to be a conversation and what might be the, be the best thing for the owner. Are they trying to sell a tenanted asset? And does that agent also uh, work with investment properties? And if they don't, maybe it's a good idea for them to, for them to work with Renters Warehouse and we'll still pay a referral to the, to the agent who referred us initially. So those are some things to think about. Uh, and the same goes with us. If somebody comes to us with a, uh, an owner-occupied home that they want to sell, we're likely almost every time going to always refer it back to the agent that referred us because we are experts in selling investment properties. Some of these agents that work for other, these other brokers might be experts in selling owner-occupied properties. And so it's really about serving. Are you doing the right thing? And realizing that disruption is happening in the real estate space and you've, you need to embrace it and serve your clients. Thank you. Leave any comments, any questions, want to get in touch with me, find me on LinkedIn. Look forward to talking to you. Thank you.